something just occurred to me. A very powerful lesson was taught to me that I'm just now learning. Uh, it happened, um, what, almost four years ago now. I worked for a company called MindBody. MindBody hired me. Uh, I became part of a call center of about 70 people. It was a burgeoning, fledgling call center. It was about six months old by the time I joined it. And uh, MindBody is a, a, a scheduling software for um, beauty salons, uh, health, fitness facilities, etc., where you can uh, the user can download an app, and then the uh, then you can uh, the the user can see all the schedule of all of the um, classes that are available and schedule a fitness class uh, or massage or you know any other services that the business owners want to make available to their users. And you can do it online as well. The user can do it through, you know, the the website of the business, and um, you know, it's a great app. And it allow, also allows the uh, the business owner to manage their um, their business from the platform. And it, it was fun. You know, it was a real. Uh, it's a Silicon Valley type company. It's based in San Luis Obispo, and uh, it was a great environment and very exciting and. You know, it had its pitfalls and it wasn't perfect, but I only describe MindBody to tell you what happened. Um, they announced that there was a meeting in the conference room uh, one, the, the following morning one day. It was, uh, I think it was uh, maybe November of 2016, and uh, we, everybody packed into that uh, conference room. It wasn't huge, but everybody, you know, maybe 60, 50, 60 people, and there were uh, bigwigs from San Luis Obispo there, it was all very interesting, you know, well, what's going on? And they announced that everybody was, last day was that day. A few people were going to go to Prescott, Arizona, I think it was what, Scottsdale. Scottsdale, Arizona, where they were moving their operations. Um, the Dallas operations were basically picking up and moving with the, you know, skeleton staff to uh, hire people in uh, Scottsdale and move on. And that was that. Well, what's the lesson? The lesson is, is that, you know, that company did what it needed to do. It took care of business. It may not have been pleasant, and it may have been like dramatic and, and immediate, but that was that. And um, we all had to react accordingly. And you know, lives changed uh, clearly. So what's the lesson? The lesson is, is that you know, that company did what it needed to do, and you know what, people do too. Sometimes you need to make dramatic moves. Sometimes you don't want to announce them to the world. Sometimes it's a good idea not to say anything to anybody uh, or to say things to a few key people that you think will keep a secret. And then when the time is appropriate, you make your announcement. And uh, in this case, we made an announcement we're moving to Panama. Uh, and we did that. And we announced it to a few people early on, but not many. And um, you know, we did what we needed to do. We took care of what we needed to take care of from our family. And that's a, that's a powerful lesson I learned from my body. So I want to thank MindBody for making that change, and it may not have been pleasant, um, but it was what it was. And uh, you know, uh, another example of that that happened in my personal life recently um, that had wasn't a decision of mine; it was a decision of Hashem. I was running with our with our dog, and um, to keep a long story a little shorter, she was struck by a car and, and killed, and she died in my arms. And that happened about three weeks before we left. It was one of the most tragic things that's happened in my life. Um, you know, in a way, I'll never get over it. She was my heart. She was our heart. It was. It was the most tragic thing. You, you know, it was just. And but that was Hashem. Hashem had a. You know, he has a plan, and he executed his plan, and that was that. And you have to react accordingly. And you know, Baruch Dayan Hayemet. You know, we we bless the Judge of Truth and. And we, we hope that he's, you know, we, we, and, and that's that. Um, we react accordingly. So I think there's powerful lessons in that. Um, sometimes Hashem makes his plan known to people, but usually you find out on the fly. And, um, you know, in mind body, in my, in my case of uh, letting me go and letting us all go on that day, um, taught me a lesson. Mind body took care of itself. People need to take care of themselves too. Finally, to close out this little video, you know, a lot of people want to regulate politicians, you know, people. They'd like to regulate businesses to not allow them to make moves like that, to not allow them to be nimble and to 
make decisions that impact so many people without making an announcement, without providing for benefits and retraining and job placement. And, you know, we may get, an, I may entertain a little bit of discussion about that, but at the end of the day, companies and people need the freedom of movement and the nimbleness of, uh, to be able to pivot and make those decisions that are best for people and companies. Um, it may not be pleasant, you may not like it, you may think that government should get involved in all of that to try to soften the blow or take care of people and, you know, maybe a little bit of that for retraining perhaps, I might entertain a little bit of that, but at the end of the day, people and companies need to be able to make those decisions that are best for them. And I'm grateful for the freedom that America gives me, gave me, and, and Panama ha 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 grants us in our case, to allow us the freedom of movement to make the moves that we need to make for our family.